Alrighty, Yvonne Gabauer here. And as requested, we, I've got Karen Birchall here as well. Hello. <laughs> Rustling around in the background. So we have uh, kind of combined our forces and our heads together and made a ton of homemade stamps out of anything you can imagine around your house. So we're gonna kind of take you through some of the processes that we did here. Um, what I've just got on the table here in front of me is something as simple as corrugated cardboard. Cut it into shapes, so I've got a couple here. So there you go. Um, you know, one that's more of a rectangle, skinny one round. These were the leftover pieces, so I just kind of um, um, offset them, I guess, if you want to call that, into uh, different stamps. Attach them to a couple of layers of cardboard. You can see that. Um, and then they work as stamps. This was pieces of foam. So the kids craft foam that you can buy in packages. So you buy the packages of fun foam from the, there you go, from the dollar store, a couple of bucks or whatever they are, and you cut out the, the pieces, whatever shape you want. So this was just the leftovers that I had um, after I'd cut my other shapes out. I use my hands when I talk. Um, <laughs> anyway, so this is, that's all I did was glued the strips on and I just used, I think I used like beacons three in one or something like that. Um, this was some more foam that was actually glued onto foam. Um, another one here, same thing. Then what you can also do is, um, well here's, here's some more shapes. Okay, so look at this. Okay, again, took the fun foam, cut it into shapes. So after I cut out the chevrons, because I kind of am anal like that and I, I like to fussy cut. So after I cut all of these out, these little shapes were in between, so I thought, well, you can't throw them away. So I actually glued them on. But now I've got two different thicknesses of a chevron uh, shape, right? These were, honestly, you grab it, cut. There was no drawing ahead of time. There was no planning out. I just cut some circles out. The one that I cut out of here, I probably used over here somewhere. Um, squares in with circles. These were the leftover pieces where I started cutting, so it doesn't even join. Same thing there, right? So, I mean, these all make your abstract stamping images on your um, on your work. So, this is an idea. So, I'll just show you how they stamp out. Um, so, here's the corrugated cardboard, okay? So, you've got your stripes, you've got your circles, your... Um, there's the one that was... Oh, sorry, for the rattling. The offset one, right? All of, and all of those um, shapes there, I'll put it down more. There we go, okay. Now these shapes over here were made with styrofoam you get with your food. So what I had taken was a styrofoam container, easy peasy, just like that. So because I don't want to waste anything, I even took the edges and made some designs in there. And that was as simple as, now my camera's not going to focus, hang on here, let me get my hand in there too. So it, there we go. Um, no, it's still not. It's because it's focusing in behind. Okay, I'll, I'll bring it down. Um, so all I did was I took a pen, a pen, that's it, and drew these designs into the edges. This was already on the food container, right? So there you get these kinds of designs. So there's your dots, done. There's your diamonds that you drew out, um, your circles, right? lines that was it little piece from the edge again right so i mean you can come up with endless amounts of ideas for stamps so what i did um this is just the other side of that because how many circle stamps do you need right um other things are ideas that you can use so i've got my little this is my little goodie box of all of my um um, lids that are kind of left over from whatever, right? Or toys or whatever the case may be. So if you want to have a circle, so let me just grab a couple of these. Um, so okay, this one here is from a toy, right? What I liked about this one is you got the double the double circle. So I actually use this to stamp with as well, but you can make a stamp with it, right? So I kind of, you kind of see where I practiced ahead of time. So you just take it in here and you just push in, put some weight on it. There you go. You've got a mark. Take another circle, make a mark. Overlap it a bit. There you go. You can do all different sizes on your little stamp you're going to make here. Now this one here, I've got to tell you what this is. <laughs> I bought deodorant. 
<laughs> yes, this is the little thing that comes off the top of your deodorant. But I took it off and went, oh, oval, I can use that. And it actually does work as a stamp. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Anyways, don't throw anything away. Nothing. Nothing is sacred in this house. My husband just laughs at me. Probably thinks I'm half crazy, which, well, some days I am. Alrighty, where's my good old stays on stamp pad here? And really, any, it doesn't have to be stays on. Now, this is going to give you a solid impression, right? This is going to give you a solid impression with just these imprinted, right? So it's going to give you something different than, um, than a, um, ah, there we go. Alrighty, my handy dandy little assistant here, which I don't usually have. Alrighty, so I'm just going to press that in here. And see, actually this is double. I could, oh, I could do the same thing on this side. I'm a genius. So there you go. I've got a double uh, stamp I can use. So we're going to lift that off. And there you go. So there's another idea for a background. Do I wash these off? Heck no. Um, anyway, so there's another idea for a um, stamp. Another thing that you can do with this fun foam is, I'm just going to grab my scissors really quickly. And, doo -doo 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 -doo. of course, you can write in it, right? And I could have done that on the back of, I can do it on the back of this one. So, again, you take a pen. Let's see, what, what design don't I have yet? Uh, I don't have squiggles. So, you know what? Let's just make a, so, I'm just going to take this. And I'm going to do this. And we're going to show you something really cool. So, you don't have to just freehand this in a minute, too. All us old scrapbookers that have this stuff hanging around our houses from whenever, right? And yeah, we don't want that on there. So now I got a double sided stamp, right? Because I got my circles on one side. Uh huh, yeah, because I roll like that. Okay, back my stays on, and we're going to throw that on there. Shoop. And if you wanted to, you could take this foam stuff and mount it onto a piece of whatever, right? I mean, doesn't really much matter. I find it works fine like this. I don't have to mount these onto anything else. But when you're making a stamp with this kind of stuff, you're going to want to mount it onto something. Um, there you go. Squiggles. I have not. I have a squiggle stamp now. There you go. Um, other ideas for foam stamps. Okay, so, you know what? Go to your... Um, um, dollar store. Okay, there's 101 different shapes of all sizes. So I'm just going to grab this right now. So there you go. Bag of shapes, right? Who's going to want that? I mean, yeah, the kids would play with it. Grandkids would love it, right? <laughs> oh no, you make stamps with it. You make stamps with it. You can do. Um, let's see here. Here you go. My little Vanna here is just passing me stuff. So here she did. This is Karen. These are Karen's right now. Okay, so there she did. She attached the hearts and little circle onto some foam, onto a piece of corrugated cardboard. Nothing fancy here, right? I mean, this isn't... And look at that, right? You've got a little heart flower stamp, okay? Here's some of those same shapes she had. Stars, right? All the different stars. And look at that, you got a whole sheet of, how cool, right? You want circles? Check that out, right? Check it out. You could even use these, like any of these stamps, you could use these to also stamp into your modeling paste. Put a layer of modeling paste on in your page, right? You want something different than what you've got already in your stencil supply? Use your stamps, right? Works great. This one I love, this is very, I like them all, but this is very cool. Check that out, hey? Little checkerboard. And look at the impression it makes, right? So you combine all of these onto your art journal pages, right? And you're going to get all sorts of background textures using foam you buy at the dollar store, right? It's uh, it's cool. It's very, very cool. Um, need an idea of something else to attach them to? Who doesn't drink wine? Well, maybe not everybody, but heck, we might have one or two bottles, right? Or glasses, I mean. Um, so there you go. So use the end of each of the... Of the um, uh, cork, stamp pad, your um, empty prescription I'm bottles. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to show the meds. Empty prescription bottle because we only it's, it's the Tylenol. That's all. We don't. We're not on meds of any kind at all. We're we're very very you know stable people here. 
Um, here's another idea. Okay, you want to use this uh, fun foam and, and make really cool stamps? Check this out. So, here you go. You got a stencil, right? Take your piece of fun foam, put it on there, draw it out, right? Now you can get different thicknesses of fun foam too. I've got some that's a little bit thicker. Oh, hang on here. Karen's got really, really, really thin. Like this is, and that's all you would need. It doesn't have to be something like this, right? Um, so either one of them is going to work. But anyways, so put your foam down, trace around um, that stencil right there. Cut it out. Now I don't know how that's going to show. It might. I'm trying to get my bifocals to... Uh, to work here. Oh there, down there. Okay. Um, cut out the shape and you've used your pen, right, to do all of these little um, designs from the stencil. And look at That's with ink tans blocks. I yes. just wet the stamp and yeah. draw yeah. with the colors I want and stamp it in. So when she does her ink tense blocks, I'll just actually grab this real quick and show you what we've been we've been playing already before we did this, right? So all we did, so we've already got some on here already, took a craft mat, right? And we sprayed it down with some water, grabbed a couple of, and I broke my first ink tense block, I know. I'm okay, I'll get over it. Um, anyway, so you spritz it down, spritz, Take your in-text blocks, draw it in there, right? You can mix your colors, you can do two different colors, however you want to do it, right? Take your stamp that you just finished making, da 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 da, -da. stamp it in the ink tents. Move that out of the way. That, oh, hang on, I'll use the same one I got here so we don't use a whole bunch of papers. There we go, stamp it in there. Do, 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 do. And, uh oh did I not spritz enough? Try. I may not. Oh, I always spritz. just put it right. Oh, and on there shake, and shake then. It off a bit. Oh, shake it. Oh, oh, hang on. Shake it off into my garbage. How about we do that there? Then do a couple of different colors around the outside. Zoop. And it's trial and error. And it's trial and error. It's <laughs> always trial and error. And it's you know for the blooper reels and you know all that kind of fun stuff. There you go. Oh, I like that flower. Except I kind of missed a, a petal pressing on it. It's yeah. But anyways, yeah. So I wonder, can you, can we do a little bit of an experiment because we got you here anyways. If I do that, yeah. can I get another totally. flower? Oh. oh, see, she's already tried it. Here, I thought I was inventing something new. And she's like, oh yeah, we can do that all the time. No, the ink tents, when it dries, it can be re -ag oh, they, That's like a watercolor. Ooh, ooh I got to make some of these. I'm gonna make some of these. Check and you it can out. Use any of your stencils. Yeah, I mean exactly. So I mean, think about it. You have got enough stamps here to. There's one in the making. So there we go. Stencil she's got. She traced it, cut it out. She's gonna attach it to this, right? But that's gonna be another stamp that she's gonna have, right? So there you've got a swirl stamp. Why buy it? Use your stencil, right? Why not, right? And attach. I mean, you can glue these down with anything. I mean, like I say, I use my Fabri Tac. I think you've used Gorilla Glue. You've used. Aileen's. Aileen's, yeah, um, tacky. tacky glue or whatever. It doesn't have to be anything like super industrial or anything like that. It's it's awesome. Um, the foam core. Yeah, here's, oh yeah. So here's just some random shapes that uh, Karen cut out. She's got foam core, right? So you got some of that laying around. Or took a couple a of yeah exactly excess. I mean if you've got a photo place um, in your town um, a lot of them will use this for their photography right and they're gonna have odds and ends and pieces that they're gonna throw in the garbage uh -uh. no 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 so go and talk to them because I would bet you that they would give it to you to use right so there you go a couple more couple of more examples so there you go we're going to cut this one off right now, and then we're going to show you what you can do with lint rollers. Oh, not yet. oh, hang on. No, we're not. Oh, no, that's right. Okay. Hang on. We have got the handy dandy. Let me to Where is my, you know what? I'm going to put Karen. Karen's going to come on now. She's going to show you the other wonderful things you can do. What are we on for time? Okay, if it shuts off, we just have to restart it. Okay. There we go. All righty. So keeping in form with our fun foam, uses of fun foam, and just thin stuff. Um, Yvonne talked about a quick and easy way of doing it. Dollar store find. I got six rulers, all sorts of zigzags and lines. All I did is lay them on and drew on there, 
onto the fun foam with a pen. Again, I would back this up on the fun core, another foam sheet, and again you get the journaling kind of print kind of stuff. So if you want to journal in there with your letters later oh, yeah. and stuff. I don't know, do we want to Absolutely. do one of these on a stamp? Let's I think we'll that. just do it with the ink tents we have here. Is that going to work? Okay, a light here, spray. You know it has worked. Do you want to grab one of my um, oh, your the deli papers? Because it oh, really yes. works well on the deli paper. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, and I've done this with acrylic paint as well. Sometimes I put the acrylic block on the back of this just so it Ooh, so you've got comes some out. Whoa. And so you can check that out again. One or two. So if you're doing a background, you've got those lines to write on. Yep. Chiching. Oh yeah. So again, you can go in there, constantly add color, little spritz of water. You can get lots of stamps. So when I'm making my pre-colored deli paper or tissue paper, that is at work. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So there you go. One or two options. One or two options. So there you are. Grab some foam and a pair of scissors and a ruler. Oh, we got some. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Oh, where did I put my... Okay, I lost my ball. That sounded really good, didn't it? Okay. Where did I... Put? I just had it here. <laughs> okay, well, you start talking. I'll look for my ball. Okay, so... Cruising through with my sister-in-law in the dollar store, we came across these little bouncy balls, which you now see remnants of, that have been transformed into um, stamps. So these were the ones that if you bounce them, the light goes on and you get all of that. So what I did is I um, took an X-Acto knife to, to the balls and cut them apart and was very happy to find that there was no liquid inside. So I cut them apart. I cut all the pieces apart. The one, I have this stamp. So I glued them down because it was kind of a curved and it wouldn't lay flat by itself. The one that had these little flowers, I very happily found out that they stick to the acrylic block so I could arrange them in any shape. I also put one on one of my Teachers, old teacher stamps, which I ripped off the um, the educational stamp and put that on there. Um, I guess we have no balls. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my balls, kind I of thing. I lost but again, balls. they were like a buck, a buck fifty or whatever. And if you have a friend, share. This one again is shelf liner that I just cut and I stuck it onto an old Santa stamp here and it makes a beautiful stamp like that. This last one, you will never believe what this one came from. It was a silicone pot holder like this and I opened it up and saw this amazing texture. So again, with my ink tensor, I think this was blue stays on, rubbed it on there and got some incredible texture. My sister-in-law has the other half, <laughs> <laughs> and away we go. I lost my ball. <laughs> I can't believe I lost my ball. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay, trust us, it was a ball. Trust us, it was a ball. Yeah, here's the one stamp, the, the print. It's a little imperfect. There we go, that's a little bit better. Came off. And then that one, again with my ink tents. And what is so cool with these balls, because of the rubber that they are, it's almost like you can make your own stamp however you want it, right? I mean, you just take these things off and you rearrange them, put as many as you want on, and boom, right? It's awesome. Awesome, awesome. And if I had the ball, I'd show you. Trust us, it was a ball. We tried rolling with the ball, inking oh, it up and rolling yeah. it. And it worked. It was just very messy and unpredictable. Yep. I mean, and there's all different designs for shelf liner too, right? So I mean, you know, sky's the limit. This is the stuff that Karen had, right? Like that. 
well this is the stuff that I have it's gonna give you two totally different and Karen when she was sitting here playing with this if you actually offset that a little bit so check that out you could almost get a solid stamp with just the little lines in between just by doubling it up and gluing that onto your um, stamping block right how cool would that be so there you go why don't you see what kind of stamp this makes ah let's do her up okay so let us I'll cut that I'll cut that Alrighty, let's see here. Am I still on? Yeah, we're still recording. Good. I'm just making sure my my camera only um, only records for ten minutes at a time, so that's why I kind of kind of keep looking at the time here, right? I think I'm going to try to use these intense blocks yet. So let's give that a spritz so we can. Now, if this was attached, of course, it would be better, right? I mean, but that's okay. This is still going to work. This is still going to work. Yeah, I got a piece of paper here. So let me pick this up. I don't know why I'm worrying about my fingers. Like I ever have to worry about my fingers. We'll just turn this over. And do that. So honestly, it's about experimentation, right? So I mean, if it screws up and it doesn't work, it's shelf liner, right? It's shelf liner. It doesn't work. <laughs> oh, okay, awesome. sorry. That was just, yeah. We, we do these noises when we come up with a new idea. It's, it's a requirement, actually, so when you're going to do this, you have to make that noise every time you come up with a new stamp. And don't throw this out because no, exactly. this will make some handy-dandy texture of it to you bet. Um, an iCAD or... Mm -hmm. Even your art journal page. I mean, you can still cut bits and pieces of that out, right? I've done that. I've used all of that when I reuse my paint on either tissue paper or paper. Mm -hmm. I use it on my JB5 journal. There you go. See? I got two impressions out of the one, and that one's even a little bit different again, right? I love that. Yeah. I love that a lot. Okay, and if you did it with just this, so I'll show you this shelf liner. Do -do -do -do. Make sure I'm still in frame. There you go. So those are all three, three different designs just by using it and before it dries out and showing it on there again, right? Again, dollar store find. Yep. Go up and down the dollar store aisles. It's amazing what you can look find for texture. to use for texture. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to try and stamp with this. I'm going to bring this little piece of paper back here again. I found these. I'm going to show you in our next video. Yeah, dollar for hair. That's right, for hair. I'm going to see if they'll actually work to stamp. I know they work to spritz through because I've tried it already. I haven't tried it for a stamp, so you're going to be our guinea pigs here, right? So, let me grab that out of the way. I'm going to just put it on top of here because that's okay. And press down on it. Yep. Look at that. Again, you got to make the sound. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Exactly. And these open up, so I mean, right? Attach it onto a block like that, you got to stamp. Stretch it out if you want to stretch your stamp. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to try that on the roller. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to try this on our rollers next, I think. There you go. Careful, that's all full of, like we care, right? <laughs> Alrighty. So there we go. We're going to go play with rollers next. So there you go. Make stamps. Make stamps. Use cardboard. Use foam core. Use whatever you need to the back. And who hasn't got 104 boxes in their house? Or is it just me that keeps every box that comes into her house? Okay, I might have. Yeah, anyway. Alrighty. So thank you very much for joining us. And we're going to get set up for our next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.